What's up everybody, welcome back to The Art of Crypto, the birthplace of absolutely legendary gains. In this video, this is just going to be a quick little update on Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. So if you want to figure out exactly what Bitcoin or Ethereum is going to do next, you're going to want to watch till the end of this video. But right before we dive right into it, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter at underscore The Art of Crypto, you're going to want to do so. Over here, I'm going to share my latest market updates as well as my NFT plays that I'm looking out for. Now, it usually literally pays to be inside the Discord of NFT projects before the launch because then you'll be included in the pre-sale. And usually it's pretty much free money as long as you can afford it. So this is going to be the NFT play that I'm going to be keeping an eye out for. So I will link the Discord in the description below. So check it out if you wish to. If you don't like it, don't go for it. If you like it, join me. But Anyways, let's discuss Bitcoin. So immediately, if you have been watching my channel for any amount of time in the last two to three weeks, I just keep saying the fact that, hey, pullbacks are for buying, pullbacks are for buying, pullbacks are for buying, because Bitcoin is bullish, right? I've been saying that for like three to four weeks now. So same goes for this pullback right here. I know it doesn't look like much on the daily chart, but that is a pullback and should basically just, just buy the pullbacks, right? Now, there are two scenarios that I really want to go over in this video the first of which is this high right here at 51500 in fact let's go on to the perpetual chart because a lot of movement tends to happen on the perpetual charts so let's remove everything and you're going to want to mark down this level at 51500 ish so this level is going to be key for a couple of reasons. If you watch my channel before, you know that I always say that as long as you are bullish, you are going to attack previous highs. So for example, during this entire time when we were bullish, the moment I saw like this high and this high got attacked, I was like, hey, Bitcoin's bullish, institutions have flipped bullish. So let's follow in their footsteps, right? So buy the pullbacks. Any pullbacks that you get, just buy. So notice how every single high was attacked as long as Bitcoin was bullish, right? And now Bitcoin is going to go attack this high next, at least in my humble opinion. So at the moment, this is going to be the key level to watch out for. Anything that happens before this point onwards, right? From 5,300-ish to 5,500 is just noise. So there's a very good chance that Bitcoin is going to just blow just a tiny bit above it, clear out the liquidity, and for those of you who don't know what that means, it's basically just institutions. Clear. Like imagine if you were shorting Bitcoin, right? You would look at this chart and you would go like, oh, hey, look, um, Bitcoin got rejected over here. We should go short here because this is good resistance. Oh, that's how retail would think and institutions know this and they pay hundreds of millions of dollars to get access to the data that tells them where people are selling their stop loss. In this case, the VPVR does not actually reflect this but there's a good chance that we are breaking above 51,500 and there are only two likely scenarios that are going to happen. The first of which is Bitcoin is absolutely just going to bust through all the way to 40, like 54,300, right? Because over here you have a bearish order block. And if you don't know what a bearish order block is, just think of it as an area where an institution really likes to push price to. And if you don't believe that these order blocks work, like just look at it, right? On Bitcoin's on the way up to this point right here, right? We've got an order block, look where the price comes into, into the order block, right? And then here you have another bullish order block because it is the last bearish sort of block before a massive, massive move upwards. Look at where the price dips into, bam, kabam, right? Over here, you have another order block. It's the last bearish block before a big move up. Look at where the price comes into eventually, bam right? So order blocks work. So at the moment, our next bullish order block, right? If you are looking for a pullback, it's going to be right about here. Now, ideally, I would like for the order block to have been at about 47k. And if you were on my, and if you were following me on my Twitter, you would have known that I said that 47k was a key level to watch. Sadly, we did not pull back into 47k. So right now, we just have to treat this as our next order block. So usually order blocks signal a pretty good place to buy. But in this case, I would advise you to be careful at the moment and I'll tell you why. So there's only two scenarios that will likely to happen at this bearish order block. Right here, this is a bearish order block as well. So there's only two scenarios that could happen. The first of which is you bump right above it, right? Clear out everyone that was going short and then dump, right? Dump, clear out all the liquidity, right? Retail is going to look at this level right here at about 43,800 ish. And they're gonna look like, hey, Bitcoin found support here. We should go long here. 
trust me, institutions know this and I know this as well. So that if you were going long here, right, there's going to be a bunch of stop losses right down here. And if you're going short here, there's going to be a bunch of stop losses right here. So just be aware that institutions usually like to stop you out before moving the other direction. So if they were about to flip short, what you will likely see is just a t just the price to wick tiny, like just a tiny bit above it. And then it's going to start going down and then it's going to clear out the long side liquidity before moving upwards, right? Because they don't want you to win, right? They're going to clear you out and then they're going to go push the price where they wanted it in the first place, which is going to be likely at this level right here. So am I saying that Bitcoin is going to get rejected here? Well, probably you're just probably going to see a small little pullback or at least it's going to have a little bit of trouble breaking through this bearish order block. But in general, I'm still bullish. So remember that um, other scenario that I thought that I want you guys to at least keep an eye out for and that's going to be the funding rates so if you just head over to this website right here BYBT funding rate you can actually see what's the funding rate like for a lot of altcoins and this right here this is not pretty right it's nearing like it's not pretty right let's just let's just put it that way so usually when funding rates are really high the only thing that that means is that there is a disproportionate amount of people going long compared to short and on leverage. So what that means is there is going to be a lot of people who went maybe 10x or 20x or maybe some of you DGENs out there would have went 50x or whatever and imagine what happens if the price would have just dumped like 10%. Imagine how many people would get liquidated, right? And so this is just something that you want to keep, keep in mind because it is something that is very likely to happen. If we wake above this and we start dumping, just be prepared for like a mass liquidation, okay? And as for the areas of value, I'll get into that later, but just keep that in mind that this is a scenario that could happen, right? The second scenario is rather than, you know, wick and get rejected here, is to just straight pump over here and then get rejected, right? Am I saying it's going to dump? No, but there is a good chance that you're going to get a, you know, maybe a 5-10% rejection, right? Which is nothing much at 54,300. So you're going to want to mark down this level as well as 51,500. I've given you guys both the scenarios that could happen. And so now let's discuss some entries, right? I am not actually going to suggest you guys to short anything because at the moment it's, you know, it's really bullish. But if you want to short, if you were to short, you could do it like based on that scenario that I just gave you, right? You short somewhere right above this and then you set a stop loss maybe 3% upwards and doing so will protect your position. And if you were planning to short, please, please just remember to take profit, okay? Because these are bullish situations, but you cannot deny the fact that funding rates are getting pretty high. And if you see a mass liquidation, that's a, like that's an easy 10 to 20% on most altcoins, right? I'm not going to give you exact entries for all the altcoins, but for Bitcoin in particular, this is going to be the first entry that you're going to want to keep in mind. The second entry is going to be, you know, shorting at this bearish order block and you're going to place your stop loss right above this order block. So I do not recommend shorting again, right? You just place your stop loss right there. And if you are going to short there, then you would maybe short like somewhere about here, maybe like 52, 52K, 51K, 700, you know, somewhere about that area. So that's going to be your entries if you were going short. However, as mentioned, I do not recommend going short. So let's try to figure out exactly which areas of value that you are going to want to consider buying Bitcoin at should it retrace, right? In the event of a mass liquidation, you should start, you know, buying some Bitcoin because as I've said, we are really, really bullish right now. So I'm just going to mark down a pretty good, like a pretty, few pretty good key areas of, I don't want to call that support because this is more like areas where institutions are going to back up their positions. So if you were going to go long on Bitcoin anyway, it would be a good idea to perhaps go long at these areas because these are areas that institutions are going to protect. So these areas are going to be at about 49,850, 48,300, 46,200, 40. Yeah, you could get some at 43,800. I wouldn't recommend it though. I really wouldn't. But these are the levels that you're going to want to pay attention to, right? immediately draw your eyes to these three levels first. And if you haven't already watched my Bitcoin analysis that I did like a few days ago, the things that I mentioned in that video still holds true. So I'll link it on the top right corner if you want to get even more in-depth entries than this. But right now I'm just giving you sort of a general guideline as to where would be a good price to pick up Bitcoin at. And then you're going to have 42,600, 41,260 ish and 40k. So the way that you're going to want to use these entries is let's say you had a thousand dollars to play with. 
I would go maybe 300 here, 300 here and 300 here, just giving you an example, right? But hopefully you have a little bit more capital than that. If if maybe you had, you know, 10K, then maybe I'd go with 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, you know, you get the point, right? The lower the price goes, the bigger you increase your bet size. So doing so will allow you to get a very optimal entry so that, you know, nobody knows where's the exact bottom. Like if you watch my previous Bitcoin analysis video, then you would know where would likely be the bottom. So I'm going to link it on the top right. I'm not going to get into this video, but just pay attention, right? DCA, that's what every trader that knows what they're doing is doing. So now that we are done with Bitcoin, let's get into Ethereum. And if you feel like you've learned a thing or two in this video, it would help me so much if you could just drop a like button. It's a really small gesture, but it really, really helps me a lot. So for Ethereum, it is the same story. Over here, you have a high that has not been attacked before. In fact, let me just go onto the daily chart like I did with Bitcoin. You can see that over here, we have sort of, like we don't really have a clean high to really base this trade off of. But similarly, you cannot deny that we are in a bearish order block right now. And if all goes well, it should attack this level at 35.75. Remember, as long as we are bullish, we attack previous highs and we break through order blocks. So for Ethereum, again, I do not recommend shorting. Like if you were going to short a tiny bit of a liquidity grab right above this level is going to be your short entry for maybe a 10 to 20% gain. And back to Bitcoin just now, right? If you want to figure out where to take profit on your shorts, then you're going to want to do it at those entries that are provided. So this is Ethereum. So assuming that Ethereum is going to pump all the way that up to that level, then this whole block right here. So let me just draw that out. So this whole block right here, this is going to be your bullish order block, right? And so this is going to be where we would be getting Ethereum at, right? Assuming that Ethereum goes up here and it starts pulling back, then you're going to want to get some Ethereum over here, right? Because bullish order blocks tend to be very strong in a bullish trend. Well, duh, right? And your second bullish order block is going to be right here. So these are going to be the two entries that you're going to want to watch for on Ethereum in order to pick some up. Now, ideally, ideally, if Ethereum ever retraces back to like 2638 or maybe even like 28, like 2700, right? If it ever retraces to any of these two levels, I would be buying heavy, right? Just simply put, I will just be buying heavy. So let's further narrow down our entries for Ethereum and we're going to use the VPVR to our advantage here. So in this case for Ethereum, in case it pumps all the way here and it starts pulling back, then you're going to want to look for 3351, 3262, 3192 in order for you know, just areas of value to dollar cost Ethereum at. And I generally wouldn't recommend any other areas, but 2856 is where I would start picking up Ethereum heavily, right? Over here, I would go even heavier, right? Just the lower the price goes, the bigger your bet size, okay? Because nobody knows where's the exact bottom. So you just want to try to dollar cost average and get a optimal entry. So in this case, the last entry is going to be 2537. If you didn't already mark down these levels, you're going to want to do so. I've already given you the exact levels. If you can't even mark it down yourself, there's nothing more that I can do for you. And guys, right now in the private Discord group, we are absolutely killing it, right? We have caught so many good snipes and we have caught so many good breakout trades. Like for example, AVAX is just one of them that we caught. But yeah, I'm not gonna show this as a way to make money, but if you're interested in learning how I do this, right? Maybe you watch my videos and you realize, hey, this guy is right a lot of the time. And yes, I am. If you just want to learn what I've learned over the course of, you know, multiple years, then you're going to want to check out the private Discord group over here. You're going to get access to everything that I know, as well as figure out what works and what doesn't and discard them. As a bonus, you're going to get access to daily profitable trading setups where we have people making money every single day. And let's just say that there have been more than a few people who have already paid off their memberships in just a couple of trades. So the link is going to be in the description below. I am considering opening the monthly membership, considering, but make sure to follow me on my Twitter if you are interested in the monthly. There's no guarantees that I will open it, but I am thinking about it right now. And anyways, as a bonus for sticking around till the end of this video, you are going to get a bonus trade. And this trade is going to be on ADA. So you're going to want to pay attention to this level right here at 2.57 um at about 2.53 as well as at about 2.466 so these three levels are going to be your dca points for ada in case of a dump but especially if you dump even harder than all three of these levels right you're going to want to set a stop loss right about here right at the bottom of the order block right it's okay to be wrong 
but it's not okay for any single mistake to wipe you out so make sure you manage your risk so in this case if these three levels get busted through again if you have a thousand dollars you're gonna want to maybe 300 300 300 right the same thing goes for here right i'm giving you dollar cost average like entries right now and i'm just saying that if you pick up ada at any of these five levels right here it's going to be brilliant and if you watch my previous ada video right you would have known that i called ada at this level right here at this level look where ada came in and bounced right for those of you who watched my previous ada video congratulations right you would have caught the exact bottom and at the moment it's flying it's flying so congratulations to you guys but for those of you who missed that entry these are going to be your alternative entries i'm just going to give you a little bit of time to mark it down any of these levels would be pretty good levels for ada so just watch the charts yourself and make sure you dollar cast average and for those of you who have stuck around till this point i just want you to comment down in the comment section ada to the moon because that's what ada is doing right it's going to the moon it's going to five dollars so make sure you buy the pullbacks right same thing goes for ada any pullbacks are for buying same thing goes for bitcoin any pullbacks are for buying right i'm just going to add one last level 2.64 right so yeah if you had a thousand dollars to play with 250 at each level right just an example not saying that these are going to be the absolute bottom for ada there is a chance that you may be wrong or there is a chance that i may be wrong but in general these are going to be pretty good levels to pick up ada at so if as long as you understand that that's good so anyways again if you just want to get access to more of these sniper trades you're going to want to join the discord group but with that said may the gains be with you and peace